Alright guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to take you through how to answer should you start as a design agency or a design freelancer because this is something that when I speak to people on Facebook Messenger I get a lot is they don't know which path to take. Do I focus on doing things myself? Do I position myself as an agency to go for bigger clients? I'm going to take you through how to think about this and what has worked for us what has worked for our students in our private training program as well. And it's really this simple, okay? It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how you position yourself. And you might be like, well, it, it does because this will dictate, you know, what I say about myself on my website, the way that I go about reaching out to people. What's more important to do is to figure out who it is that you're going to go after because that's where the real opportunity is and that's where the real uh, potential is to provide market value. So let me just explain this with a very simple analogy. This is how I like to think about it. A lot of the way that we help design businesses is just giving them smarter mental models uh, in order to make smarter decisions in their design business, especially when it comes to who it is that they're gonna focus on uh, and what it is that they're gonna sell in the marketplace. But Let's use this very simple idea here, okay? Your job is to extract oil from the earth, okay? So you're an oil farmer. Your responsibility is to travel all around the world trying to find the best places and opportunities to extract oil so that you can go barrel it and sell it, okay? Just like fossil fuel companies do. What's the best place for you to start? Is it by deliberating over the extraction method you're going to use to get the fuel up from under the ground and get it into the barrels, right? And focusing on the art form of, you know, what machines we're gonna use, what kind of pumps, what kind of drills. Is that more important than trying to locate and find where the biggest oil reserves are? Okay, it is way more important for you to go figure out where the oil actually is because this is what's gonna dictate your chances of success more than anything is positioning yourself up in a situation where there's a heap of oil under your feet. You can have the best equipment, you can have the best method, the best process of extracting that oil, but if you're standing in the wrong spot, all of your efforts are rendered useless. This is how you wanna think about the question of do I start as a design freelancer or as a design agency? Because at the end of the day, what you're really asking there is what's the best way to extract the value out of the ground without actually asking where's the best place for us to position to actually start extracting value, okay? Or extracting oil out of the ground. So this is why who your business is for is by far the most important question you should be asking well before, do I become a design agency or a design freelancer? Because if you focus on who the market is and what the problem is that they're willing to throw money at, now you're positioning yourself in a situation where people are willing to invest and they're willing to exchange money to get to different outcomes, different results, different situations. And then you can ask, what's the best format to extract or create that value, which is the equivalent of, you know, what's the best machine to bring that oil to the surface and barrel it, okay? So this is something that we help a lot of people in our private mastermind training because they come in thinking that how they're positioned matters. It matters only once you figure out who it is that you're going after and the problem that you're gonna help them with because this is what dictates your levels of success, okay? With the metaphor again, if you position yourself with the most state-of-art equipment to extract oil out of the ground, but you position yourself where there is no oil reserves below you, all of your efforts are rendered useless. Whereas if you just take a bucket and a, a ladder and put a ladder down a hole, in an opportunity where there's tons and tons of oil, then even though your method or process is nowhere near as impressive as other people's, you're gonna do way better because of where you've positioned yourself and in the design space, uh, where you position yourself is who it is that you're focused on and the problem that you're helping them with that would lead them to warrant investing a heap of cash with you, okay? So it's way more important to understand where's the market opportunity what it is that, that these people are willing to invest in, moving towards, and then what's the best format of my business model to get these people to their goals, okay? So that's simply the mental model that we use. It helps a lot of people because the money's in the client, okay? It's not in what you do, it's who you do it for. So 
Hopefully you got a bit of value out of this guys. If you've got a design business and you're looking to really start working on the business marketing and sales aspects within it, uh, feel free to click the links in the description. Uh, we've got different resources there and the opportunity to book a one-on-one -on -one strategy call as well. But if you're never to click a link or book a call or become a paying client, that's completely fine guys. What these videos is all about is just arming designers with a smarter set of perspective and criteria to go out there and make decisions in your design business so that you can make more with less effort. So hopefully you got some value out of this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.